Viva is a 94 meter boat, which is uh, one of the largest yachts that we've ever built here. And we are really ready to go out to sea, which is really exciting. Marja's challenge is that the over 100 year old shipyard is located inland. The only way to transport the 14 meter wide Viva to the sea is via a labyrinth of narrow canals and 20 bridges where they'll have to stop traffic to allow the enormous vessel through. A journey that will take two days. The old canals are shallow, so Viva travels on two pontoons that lift her up one meter higher than she would normally sit in the water. Despite this uplift, the hull runs just 10 centimeters above the bottom of the canal in the shallowest parts. We are always afraid that we hit one of the bridges or that there's something at the bottom of the canals that's damaging our yacht, like a bicycle that was thrown in the water or a small sunken boat. On the first morning, Viva approaches a bridge at the village of Baubruha. The team have to hurry so they don't hold up traffic heading to Amsterdam airport. With just a 30 centimeter gap on each side of the hull to work with, this is an exceptionally tight fit. After hours of careful navigation, Viva approaches the town of Olfa Anderijn with its 200 year old windmill. In the Netherlands, these windmills weren't built for grinding grain. They were designed to drain water from low-lying marsh to turn it into arable land. The team reached the town's bridge. Here they must stop traffic again to pass through the busy